man. Let's get this started. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. Um, what's going on? How did I get here? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Uh, but what happened to the purifier? Did it, did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. 
We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. Definitely. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. So, we won? We beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters, and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. That explains why my, my legs feel so weak. Um, so what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Well, if there's any way I can help, I'll do us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Mm, hopefully. Um, yeah. I'm going to be going now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. I'd hate to lose me too. Shall follow. Hey, boy. Come on. Been uh, hanging around here too long. Let's get out of here. Presence detected. This unit has activated. Did you need something? Um, no, no, I don't. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. So be it. The Brotherhood is saying. Something, friend? Megaton. 
Turns out the live atomic bomb in the town center has finally been deep-sixed for good. The town sheriff, one Lucas Sims, commissioned the one, the only lone wanderer from Vault 101 to disarm the nasty nuke. And the kid delivered. Hey, nice work, the 101. Is at your Next service. time you're in the neighborhood, pop into the studio. Old three dogs, toaster's been on the fritz. Thanks for listening, children! Oh, that's rude. Hey, brother child. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? No, sir. I came uh, here hoping you could give me a bit more detail. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? The map? The map. It's amazing. I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland, to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Hmm. Now, did you have any other questions? Um, actually, yeah. If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. Good. Um, how's Liberty, Speed, how's Liberty Prime been holding up? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We're fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. Hmm, that's good. Um, what kind of the purifier as well? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation and is directly overseeing our efforts. Hmm. I don't like the idea of one faction being, uh, one faction being in total control of it. Well, the Brotherhood does sort of have the most experience, so it makes sense. Um, I hate to ask, but after that fight, my equipment was badly damaged. Should I get get some repairs? Could I? Yes. Will I? No. Go see Peabody or Bowditch. Okay, okay. Don't blame me for asking. And so you go. The Brotherhood is at your service. Welcome. Bowditch. What do you need? Um... You wouldn't have to be able to repair my equipment, would you? I suppose that I can. The Brotherhood can make use of Wasteland currency to trade.
Most believe it's a hoax. Here's some evidence for you to consider for yourself. Take this holotape. Thank you. I'll be heading out. Back to work.
here. Who's the least threatening of us all? <laughs> oh, God. Who am I kidding? Talk me, you look the least threatening, but you're the one of the most dangerous ones of the You are the most dangerous one of us. Hey. Don't you be taking this st stuff. I killed them. I get first loot dips. Thank you. 
Let no one trust. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, come oh. on, cut it out. We're going. 